Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com again. And here I'm going to show you how to print from Photoshop um, CS5 on the Mac um, to a Canon IPS 6300 using premium RC photo luster paper. And so, first of all, if you want to do soft proofing, the way you do that is you come in here to proof setup. Unless you have a standard setup for it, or say you saved it already, you need to do a custom. You choose the device to simulate, which is your printer profile. And I'm actually going to choose highest when I'm in Photoshop, and I'll explain why later. Um, choose your rendering intent. Again, I prefer perceptual, this particular uh, printer and paper. And I don't like to do simulate paper color. It creates a color shift that I don't believe is entirely accurate. So. Um, I do like simulate black ink though. So I choose OK. And you'll notice that proof colors is on. Um, this isn't required for printing, it's just something that I uh, get in the habit of doing myself. Um, now I'll go to, instead of print, your tendency is you want to go to print, you actually want to go export and then choose the print plugin. Now, before I continue, if I hadn't installed the um, Adobe CMM, you would get a prompt for that. So let me show you what happens if you need to do that. You'll search Google for Adobe CMM Mac, and then you'll click on that link, and then you'll just download that. Um, that's very important because you'll get much better results if CMM is installed, but for whatever reason it's not installed by default. That's my printer in the background making a little noise. So let's go to Photoshop. And we are going to have to manually choose our paper. And so where we find that is under photo paper. We choose, I'll find it here in a second, premium RC photo luster. And in here we can actually choose it again. Or we can actually choose auto. Um, this is a tip from Eddie Taft that I learned that if you choose auto, it will detect the correct profile based on your media type and the settings that you make. So it's best to do that. I'm going to actually choose highest and not choose maximum number of passes because um, when printing from the export module, I get results that are just as good that take half the time. Um, so I do high, I do 16 bit. Again, I, like, I can choose my rendering intents. And there's a new one called Perceptual People in Dark Areas. Whenever that's available, I choose it. I really like the results I get using that um, um, rendering intent, or they call matching method here. Um, if this dialog isn't big enough, I can choose Maximize, get a little more view of what I'm seeing here. And then what I'm going to do is actually for scaling, I'm going to choose 100%. Um, I want to preview the. Hmm, doesn't let me choose that. Um, that's on the PC. I'm not sure why I can't choose the print roll area here. And then um, for paper size, I'm going to choose um, letter. And I'm going to say paper source is roll paper. And for roll paper options, I'm going to say no spaces at the top and bottom. Don't ask it to please cut it for me. I believe that's what I was missing. Now I can do a roll paper preview. So this will show me exactly what it's going to do on the printer. And so I want to change this to landscape orientation. And actually, there was one thing here that's not doing that I wanted to see if I can set there's an auto rotate feature that's I'm not seeing at the moment um, color settings I leave the same print history is un irrelevant here so I believe we're all set to go here uh, set configuration yep we're all good um, so again take a quick look at what we're setting here take a quick um, take a look at what we're doing here 
and we are now going to choose print. And what this will do is it will send it to our printer. And there you go. See, the printer's responding. 